I'm extremely busy. The biggest obstacle was for me trying to get my head around podcasting and time. Jonathan, that he made it as easy as possible. Everything is set up from the producer's standpoint in that he's not only providing me with a service, he's teaching me how to do a good job. This program is brought to you by thepodcastfactory.com. Hi, Carl here from The Podcast Factory, and today I'm here with Michelle Spiva discussing her experience with The Podcast Factory. Michelle, what were the obstacles that would have kept you from starting your own podcast? Time. I'm extremely busy. The person who introduced me to Jonathan was adamant that I needed to do a podcast, and I tried to give him every excuse, and he said, if I could find the person that could make this as easy as possible, would you consider doing it? And I was like, I don't know. I don't think that person exists. And he said, well, I will introduce you to Jonathan Rivera and you're going to see that this can happen. And so the biggest obstacle was for me trying to get my head around podcasting and time. Jonathan was true to his, well, true to the other person's word that he made it as easy as possible. Well, I'm glad you found that it was easy. What did you find as a result working with Jonathan? That he is a professional. I really like when people are prepared and ready because I try to be. And because I have so many things that happen in a given day, when I am ready to do something or when, you know, someone says we're going to do something, he does it. It's very professional. He's prepared. And, you know, he's very... He's able to do things just, you know, off the cuff. He's spontaneous as well. So I really like that as well. I'm glad to hear that. Is there any one particular thing you like most about working with Jonathan? I like how everything is set up from the producer's standpoint in that he's not only providing me with a service, he's teaching me how to do a good job. So it's not just getting on and talking. There's prep work that he and his team are really great at explaining. There's also follow-up work as well as always trying, you know, keeping me in the loop. The feedback is excellent. So the feature that, you know, if I had to put everything together, it would be that there is excellent, and I don't want to say customer service, I want to say talent support. Excellent talent support. Well, Michelle, I'm glad you really like the support we give you. Could you possibly name three other benefits about working with Jonathan? Okay, three. Let me see if I can put them in some type of order. On air, he is a great person to buffer off of. Because of what I do and how I've decided to put my podcast together, it's very conversational. And so he is a great talent himself that I can play off of. And I think my shows are really great because he's able to flow whatever I say. I don't catch him, you know, off guard. <laughs> and I can play well off of him. So that's one. Another one is he's not excitable. There's not too much I can do or say that's going to get him off of his game of what he's supposed to be doing. He's a consummate professional. I like that. And then number three, I I mentioned this earlier about talent support, but I also want to say that for all of our fears, I, um, I remember Oprah saying one time that no matter who she interviews, the one question that she gets from every one of them is, did I do okay? How was that? And I found that I did it with with Jonathan. And he was really, really good at stroking my ego, you know, as we all need that. Not, I mean, not puffing stuff up, but he was like, you know, this was good. You know, I could tell you were nervous or whatever. And, and, And it was very good feedback and interaction because it wasn't just a a rote answer that, you know, you say, oh, he tells everybody that. He really listens and and answers the questions that we have. So those are the three top things that I can think about. And the, okay, I, I have one more. I know that I'll give you guys a bonus. And that is that I know behind every great front person, there is an excellent team. And I'm really 
pleased with his team and how things are streamlined so I, I, I deal with one person I don't have to figure out who well who am I gonna gonna deal with today <laughs> so uh, he's a great point person for all the things I need and he does continue to keep it as simple as possible and I get a quality show that's extremely professional and I have no problems telling anyone to listen to it because it's right up there with any other top rated show on iTunes Stitcher and hopefully some more coming soon all right Michelle two-part question would you recommend Jonathan and if so, why? Yes, I definitely recommend him. The only thing is, is and I, I don't m mean to slam anyone, but you have to be ready when you're going to work with him because of the fact that he's a consummate professional. You cannot say, oh, I want to work with you, and then you don't do the things that are needed for him to give you the best product. I'm adamant about if you want to do this and you want to work with professionals on Jonathan's and the Podcast Factory's team, you need to be ready to do that. You can't succumb to fears. You can't succumb to, oh, I'll get to that later. It's important, you know, so I would definitely recommend people, but I'm going to just say that I'm not going to categorically be able to recommend people because he's not a catch-all person type of person or even outfit he is for that person who is really ready to make a long-term commitment to be able to do what it takes to make sure that their podcast is the best it can be they're willing to promote it they're willing to have their shows and quality information and that they're not a slacker so yes I would highly recommend him with qualification of the recommendee <laughs> And I hope I don't offend anybody, but it's the truth. <laughs> no one's offended here, Michelle. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Well, you know what? I, I do want to say I am grateful that my path has been able to cross Jonathan in the podcast factories. When we had our initial meeting, he was very resolute in what he wanted and needed from me. And I liked that he didn't rush into oh yeah 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 we can do this you know he wasn't trying to get me to sign on he wasn't trying to make me jump through hoops it was just very exploratory and I really liked the fact that he wanted to make certain that my expectations were as realistic as possible as well as his and so for the people who are going to be working with him just know that, you know, he is a straight down the middle kind of person and that's how the company is. When they say something is going to be done, it's done. If there needs to be any kind of adjustments, it's done in enough time for everyone to be able to change or do what they need to. Like I said, the back, I don't want to call it back office, but the back support for talent is phenomenal. You don't feel like you're just out there swimming in the middle of the ocean. And so that's what I wanted to leave people with. Again, don't rush up on Jonathan. He is not the guy for that. <laughs> if you are serious and you are ready to get a professionally high quality podcast and you are willing to do your work and know that for as much work as you're going to put in, there's so much more that they're going to do, then this is the this is the team for you. All right then. Thank you so much Michelle for being with us today. You can catch Michelle's podcast at Epic Story Lifestyle. This is the podcastfactory.com.